So Bumblelab just released another tool on MakerWorld. It's Make My Statue and I just wanted to give it a quick try. So let's start. Okay, so here you get some information how the picture shouldn't be. Shouldn't be uh, excessive facial rotation, full body shots and so on. And I will just try with a photo from my favorite Harry Potter character of what or one of my favorite Harry Potter characters. I just choose Severus Snape. Let's see if this works. So it's uploading now and it's already generating a draft. I'm very curious how it will look like. Because if this uh, works well, it would be a very great tool to make presents for the family or for friends. I mean, if you can just upload a photo and get a 3D printable statue, that would be great. Okay, it seems like a lot of people are trying it at the moment. It says 108 minutes to wait. I will just uh, stop the video here and uh, reload it when it's finished. So I will see you, I hope, in a couple of minutes. Not that long, but we will see. So after about half an hour, it finished the job. And this is the result. And I think it looks pretty good. I mean, if you s uh, look from the sides, you see that it doesn't uh, look that much as the actual actor. But I think it's enough. I mean, for this short time and this little amount of work, it's pretty, pretty good result. And I mean, this is so cool if you can generate your friends or your family as a statue. I will print this now and then we can have a look at the final result. Okay, you have to point, uh, pay points again, but I think that's fair. You can uh, buy them with your points at uh, MakerWorld. So that's just fine. Okay, I can here, I think I can adjust the sides and add a base. Let's have a look. Okay, I wouldn't need this for this statue. Okay, I don't use a base. Okay, you can also uh, generate glasses as it looks. I mean, I don't need glasses here, but <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a bit weird. And if we zoom in, we can also see that uh, the resolution isn't that high, so I won't be able to scale it up very much. So don't use glasses. And I think here we can adjust the size. Okay, I could have uh, positioned the glasses too, so they don't need to be that uh, weird. I mean, I don't want to waste too much filament on this, so I think the scale is okay. I don't know, can I sh see how big this is, actually? I don't think so. Okay, I think it looks just fine like this. And I mean, from this side, it looks so much like Severus Snape or like the actor, Alan Rickman. And we see some... strange things here, this line. I don't know what this is. But, I mean, as I said, for this little amount of work, it's pretty good. I mean, there's no work at all. I wonder what mesh edit is. Okay, we can smooth something. 
Oh, okay, let's see if this works. Ah, okay. That's pretty good. We can smooth it. Okay. Let's see how this will get. I think that's better. That's pretty good. They did a good job at Maker World to implement these tools. So let's have a look, but I think there's not so much left to do. Maybe here it could be a bit smoother, but I don't want to remove all the details, but maybe a bit smoother. Okay. And we could also in flat some areas or gouge them, but I think this is not necessary here. I'm not sure at this moment it looks a bit to me like the eyes are staring in different directions. I don't know if that is the plan. Let's smooth them a bit. I mean like this, he is not staring in any direction, but there shouldn't be something popping out of the eye, so I just make it more flat. Okay, this still looks weird, this eye. I mean, I could try to gouge it. I don't know if this works. Oh, I want the size to be smaller. Hmm. Doesn't stop. Let's type in something. Okay, that's a bit annoying. It doesn't stop. I also can't uh, press the enter key. Okay, so if does nothing here. Hmm. I can't move away from this. It's a bit weird. Okay, I can't save. I don't know what's happening here. If this is a error on the side or maybe the tool isn't finished yet. I can't do anything here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I hope it is saved. So let's load it again. Okay, now it loaded. Took some time and I don't know. Yeah, everything I edited is wasn't saved, so I will try it again. It's the smooth tool again. I will smooth this out and maybe here a bit under the nose. And I will smooth the eyeballs again because they look a bit weird. So I think eyes are one thing that this uh, program can't do very well. Still looks a bit weird in which directions they look, but I think that will be difficult to edit in this tool. I mean, you could try to gouge it, or gouge, I don't know the right pronunciation, I think it's gouge, but I will just uh, let it like this. 
Okay. I think it looks pretty good. And I will just print this. But I think I will have to use the new um, Bamboo Studio. I just downloaded it. So let's open it. Okay, we'll just open Bamboo Studio and show the fire there. See you soon. So I will use some marble PLA for this from Polymaker, Polyterra. I think this is perfect for such kind of statue. Okay. So the file is now loaded in Bamboo Studio. Let's change this to P1S. And if you like the video so far, consider subscribing and liking. Okay, use everything. And how big is it? Okay, I think that's a reasonable size. And now I will just have to say which filament I loaded. Here is PLA. Yeah, I will just use mm, generic PLA. This is my marble. And let's select it here and slice it. I'm curious which settings it uses. Ah, it looks like the bottom is not flat. Okay, that's. They could have done that a bit better. I will just change the Z height. So just put it a bit more down so it gets flat. We see here we get a flat surface now and we don't lose much of the height but that they could have done that better. I mean they you can add the feet or the stand or don't know how what uh, how it was called but this should be flat at the bottom. You should definitely uh, lower it a bit so you have a good bad adhesion. Okay, we have tree supports. I think that's a good good choice here and what kind of infill do we have? Normal 15%. I think you could probably print this good without infill, but I will just go with infill here. So there's other generic settings. I won't change anything at that. And we have a print time of three and a half hour, 120 gram of filament for the model and a bit more for the supports. So we'll just print it and show you the final result. See you then. So the print is finished. Everything worked. And it looks pretty good. Let's have a closer look. The supports are very easy to remove. And this is the final print. And I think this is pretty amazing. I mean, it was so easy to do. And if you know the actor Alan Rickman or the character Severus Snape, you definitely recognize it. And I think this is really amazing. Also, the surface is very smooth. I didn't expect that because the model had some uh, visible triangles. So this is a cool tool. I always think it has two sides. On the one side I think, oh this is so cool, you can do so many things with it and make presents and so on. But on the other hand, um, modeling becomes more and more uh, unnecessary because of these AI tools. And yeah, that's a bit sad on the other side I think. So I guess I will use it but I will also keep on with my uh, modeling skills, although they are not very big yet. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. And we'll see you in the next video.